Hi guys, and today I thought we'd have a look at the um, Hornby Collectors Club, uh, which I've joined for the first time. And I'll show you what you get in the pack and um, what the pros and cons are. Um, I'm not sure how old this video is going to be, but I'll give it a go. You know, some people might be inspired by it, some people might not. And, you know, so anyway, let's get started. Um, you do get some ex exclusive locos with the Collectors Club, uh, which eventually you'll find in the odd model shop. I know about one or two on um, Road of Sheffield's uh, for almost double the price you'd get off Hornby. Uh, but yeah, but anyway, here we go. So in the pack, you get this um, uh, official membership. It says in the corner, let me read it. Official mem membership. Um, it's quite well made. Um, so you open it up, gives you some detail. Just the camera. Um, you get this picture of a uh, well stuff you can get, um, and obviously. Another picture here about the uh, Airfix one and the, the Scale Electrics one. A uh, nice picture there of a uh, McLaren Honda there. Hopefully, they can do better this year than they did last year in the F1 season. Um, yeah, so what you get is a badge, a Hornby badge, which is, uh, looks like a um, A1 on the badge. Um, then you get, I'll take these out. Some other clubs there, obviously, uh, where you can join. Um, there's nothing really on the back. It's just you know, like a binder. Uh, uh, so the Hornby Collectors, uh, the Hornby Club, you, you get um, uh, well, it's just a little thing who you know tells you, you know what what the uh, club. Include, I'll tell you what it says. It says discount to entries, uh, various UK attractions, uh, club badge, and membership card, online exclusive club pre orders, uh, club exclusive forums, uh, competitions, sneak peek with the development team, and a junior, a junior section with competition. Uh, there's a little bit more here, which mainly I've just read out. Uh, you also get um, you also get ten percent off any orders you do with Hornby uh, when you join the Collectors Club, uh, which m might be worth it. Uh, you get free club magazines and one winter one, and you also get. I'll show you. You also get, I don't know if you can see it there, you get your, uh, that, that's your um, card. And um, you also get, when you join, you also get 20% off any order, uh, 20 pound off any order, sorry. Um, which I've already used it on, and we'll see what we used it on. Um, so I don't mind sharing the code, because, well, it's already done, so. Um, you also get like a membership card. You know, it's a bit of laminate paper, really, but you know, it's nice to have. Um, and you also get these exclusive models, um, which we'll go through. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. You get uh, the A. You get the Fly Scotsman A3 with the white roof, which means it was a Royal Loco. You get a A four O Southern Loco. Um, you also get a Railroad O six O WD um, eleven weathered, which is an interesting Loco, really. Quite like the look of that. Uh, you get two different variants of uh, Terriers, 
you get um, Whitechapel and you also get um, Sutton which I believe both are preserved and you also get a Battle of Britain class loco as well which is uh, exclusive to the, the club uh, which is Marston's um, which takes my fancy as well um, so that's what you get uh, so is it worth join is it worth joining uh, yeah and no if you um, if you're gonna buy a lot of Hornby then yeah you will save yourself a packet over the um, course uh, if you're not uh, no but if you have to Rare loco or not rare locos, exclusive locos, then yeah, that's another way of joining it as well. Um, we'll have a look at two two of the locos that you get with it. Um, I have three of the class. I just not got around to reviewing the first one I, I ever had, so we'll, we'll, we'll have a look. Um, I'm not going to take them out of the box because I've got to run them in, and I don't know if all the parts are there, especially with uh, the way Hornby are. Um, being at the moment. So this one as you can just see is um Whitechapel. Um it's a collector's club one or Hornby Club whatever you call it. So you get Whitechapel. I'll just zoom out a little. Um which one of the main reasons after this it was um well, the two Terry's together, without the discount, were uh, £70, so they were £35 each, um, which to me is a bargain anyway, uh, but you can only get in that price through the Collector's Club, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you get your 20% off, so one was, I think, um, £15 and the other one was 35 or uh, £25 each. I don't know if that's maths are correct. So, yeah, you get um, two of them. Like I said, on some sites now, uh, you're talking um, 60 to 70 pound for one of these. Like I think Whitechapel's um, 65, and I think the next one we're going to look at is um, this one, which will come today after an argument with Hornby, uh, which is Sutton. Um, which I think 65 in some shops, but like I said, 35 on the website. And then this one, which is older package because uh, well, it's not the, the frozen time back to future style, but it hasn't got the website at the bottom. Uh, I've had this a while. This is a rare, rare one, so I'm told it's uh, yeah, surprisingly, it's a great Western one. Um, at some point, I will be reviewing all of them. Um, so, so yeah, uh, is it worth it? Oh, you decide. I think it is for me because there's two or three locos I want off the Hornby site and they are a bit high. But, um, the, the Terry's made, made up for it as well. Um, the gripe I've got with Hornby at the moment is, uh, pre-ordered both of these locos um, and I, I, it took five days and I ran up to see where, where the first one was which was Sutton, uh, not Sutton, uh, Whitechapel and the guy was a bit grumpy on the phone and um, a bit mean um, but mainly it come the next day and then uh, Sutton got brought forward by about two, two, two weeks, two, three weeks uh, but I already pre-ordered it um, because it's a different livery, and I, I, you know, I like to collect different liveries. Um, so I'm not just one region, unless it's Steam, it's fine. Um, and I, I went, I pre-ordered it, and I looked online, and uh, Sheffield of Rails uh, had one, um, Hatton's had one. Uh, I think um, the, a big shop in New York had one, and 
And I couldn't work out well, why the shops were getting them first and uh, the people who pre-ordered them wasn't getting them. Um, and I, 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 I Facebook called me and um, explained the situation and they apologised, which frankly isn't good enough, you know. Uh, and then it was meant to come yesterday, which was Tuesday. And I uh, got a text, as you do, of Hornby, or the delivery guy, and they said they'd be here today, um, yesterday. Uh, midday, they text me again, saying we haven't got a driver to um, collect your parcel for you. Uh, we apologise, but luckily it come within the last few hours, well, last few minutes, as I record this video, which is about 10 o'clock on Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, so... Enough of me rabbiting on. Um, I know this video isn't really going to be a hit, uh, but you never know. I don't really go for hits. There's people out there that can do a better job than me. Um, so I, I don't mind if someone watches it and they like it and it makes them want to join it or it doesn't. I'm not really forced, you know. I'm just showing you what you can get. Um, Unless you want to pay f technically through your nose for one, I don't see why I should pay double the price that you would from the Hornby site. Uh, it's normally the other way around, normally Hornby are dearer than some websites, but this time it's not. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who watched my comparison video of the A4s. I was rather surprised with the result. Um, there should be a few more to come. So, so yeah. Uh, ne next up will be um, with these with these ones anyway will be a review slash comparison of them because they're all going to be just technically the same just packaging is different and maybe the motor um, so I'll do that uh, at some point it probably go up next week uh, probably after the Formula One on Sunday actually uh, and then depending on how long that video is. There's going to be another video of a running session, which will be a week after. Um, hopefully by then I should have read some more about my Great Western project. I know it's taken shape, as some of you would have seen, some of you not. Um, but yeah, so, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, let me know what you think. I'm sorry I talked too much. I didn't mean to, um, but anyway, thank you for watching and uh, God bless and take care. Bye.